Hi guys, welcome back. Just gonna have a quick drink of coffee. I've got the next pen blank on. This is the last one I'm doing. So if you've watched the other, what did I do? Three. Four. Four. Three. 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 If you've watched the other three, then this is number four, okay? And this is the last one I've got to do. So we'll see how this one goes. Mm -hmm. Right, same chisel, nothing's yep. changed. But they are still got the blue on it from the last one. <laughs> Just a standard round cut, 12 mil round cutter, okay? Right, speed up again, 3000. 3053, okay? There you go. I think this one's actually a slightly thinner blank, this one. I think the others were like 18 mil, I think this one's a 16. Yeah, this one's a bit slimmer. Like I said, it's a 16 mil, not a, not an 18. Oh no, it's part of the cradle. <laughs>
Come on, come on. That's it, son. Right, okay. Baby blue, this one, isn't it? Shoot up. Come on. Check that light bed. Some tissue down there, soak up the water. Right, Starting off, right, turn it down. That's about 2,500. Yeah, so like I said guys, I left school at 14, started working, started working with my dad. So I worked with him through the summer holidays, the six week summer holidays. Um, just to earn some money for, for going away on holiday. And I loved it, I loved working, I didn't want to go back to school, and that was it. I mean, I wasn't a fan of school anyway. I was always bunking off. <laughs> I could beat my mum home, she'd drop me at the gates, 
and I'll be home before her. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I, I, that was it. I left school and started work. I had a full-time job, so that was it. That's what I did. Since then, I say qualified welder, qualified carpenter, wood turner for thirty odd years. I have a forklift license, I have a high ab license, I have a digger license. And I'm now in now I'm over 40. Yeah. What are you laughing for? Well, <laughs> only just <laughs> and now I'm sort of semi-retired I just do what I want to do when I do it I still work basically every day I can't help it, I love work I've always loved work, I love to work I love working if I'm not working I'm, I'm, I'm out here turning so but I do what I want when I want and please myself nowadays so that's it but this is all sunshine. I started my car buyer chisel business basically 15 years ago. I started full time selling car buyer chisels. Um, made them since 2000, really, 2001. First ones I ever done, I welded them. <laughs> Not easy to really weld car buyer to, to steel, but um, welded them, then I brazed them. Brazing was alright, that's fine, you yeah, know, that's how saw blades are done, braze them on. Uh, I just made them for myself, that was it. And then the first ones, if anyone's got one of the first ones I sort of made, commercially, um, they had the gold tips, the metal, the metal uh, cutting tips, and I used to have to sharpen them up, because obviously they're not sharp, they're not sharp for wood. There weren't no wood ones about, didn't exist. Um, and they were metal turning bits, and I actually done them by screwing them on, and I sharpened them up, round ones, and they was just a big hit, and that's where I just moved on from there, really. And now, I say, I saw, then I started selling it. It was a few years down the line. I started selling them and doing it as a business. And then, uh, basically, from now, I've sold them all over the world. I can't say how many. It's well, I way over twenty thousand chisels I've put out there. Um, you were on eBay as well, well. When I first originally started, I sold a lot on eBay, but you get you get so copied on eBay with it, and uh, I, I came off of eBay. I come off of it. Just use my own website, and that's it. And I've done all right. I used to sell it as a sale. I don't think there's a country I haven't sold the chisels to, which is pretty amazing, really. Um, I used to do a hell of a lot to America, but like I said, the posting and that, that just went haywire, and I haven't. Whether I'll get back into doing it, I really don't know. I just stopped all overseas shipping. So, Still which is a lots shame. Of, lots of requests. I know, <laughs> I, I, I feel bad. I'll get, I'll get requests. Every other day I'll get requests for chisels. Which surprises me, because you guys in America, you've got so many choices out there. You've got more choices than what we have over here. Wood turning is so much bigger out in America than it is here. You know, uh, I'm surprised actually you'd be even interested in my chisels over there. speak to the quality, babe. Well, I think it's the prices, really. I do yeah. keep my prices down low, yeah. as low as I can. Yeah. Well, I say it's getting frightening now. I mean, God, the cost of the wood. I, I must say, Turner's Retreat, it's, it's nice. I, I found it all right, you know, but timber's a lot dearer than what it was at Snowden. Yeah. Snayton was fantastic for their timber, and it's a shame actually. But there you go, what can you do? 
I like style and baits, but they're so far away from me, it's too far for me to go really. It just wouldn't be worthwhile. But I do get, I do get a lot of timber, I get it mail all now. Well, I get it delivered. I buy a lot of my timber from, from there, but it's, uh, when you want bowl blanks and things, you really want to be able to see them and choose them, didn't you? Really? Yeah. That's the thing. Right, that's all wet, so I've got to dry up my lathe a little bit. So let's all get a spray with WD-40 in a bit when I'm finished. It's the last one. Right, so... Oh. Right, a bit of this over the lathe bed. Enough talking about me. Get back to what we're doing. We like talking about me. <laughs> Don't forget, keep it moving, keep it moving. Don't stand still for a second. The secret with these, these things, these acrylics, in all honesty, I'm no expert on them, but from my experience, the secret is don't stop for a second. Don't stop with the tool moving or don't stop with your sanding, don't stop anything. Just keep moving all the time. There we go, that's that. Yep. Turns a little bit of practice. <laughs> you get back into it. <laughs> Thumbnail. Just the uh, the Brasso dries as the white powder, and you can't get there. You don't want to force the tissue in there. Don't don't force anything in. Don't let's like say don't stop moving for a second with it. The minute you stop, it all goes wrong. There we go. Just keep it moving, 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 moving. If you're wondering what that noise is, that click, 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 that's my heater, my diesel heater. It's blowing that nice warm air. It's not actually too cold today, but it's still nice to have it. So that's that's what that, that noise is. So sorry if that annoys anyone, but me keeping nice and warm and cozy is uh, more important.
it. I'm not sure, right? All right, okay. So, all the holes. Drill a hole now. I can always, I'm only seeing a little bit of this and I can see this looks like a very nice pen actually. <laughs> <laughs> this is looking very nice. All oh, right, I'll do the bottom hole first. Because that drill bit's still in there. Oh, that's all right, that one. That one's a little bit bigger. Let me just check that and see. Yeah, that one's all right. That's gonna be okay, that one. Standing. Right, let's take it out and have a look. Whoa, there we go, guys. Look at that one. That one turned out quite nice, actually. That sky. Look at that. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Those colours on that, mm. eh? Mm -hmm. uh, I can see where the <laughs> it's got the static and the little bits stick to it, but that comes off. That all wears off once you. Yeah, well, it's just where it's just been done. It's got the static, but mm. oh, but those I hope the light's catching that, and you can see that those colors in there. Yep. It's like the sky, it's like you've got clouds yeah, in there. It's that's clouds. beautiful, that the pearly yeah. and not a scratch on it. Okay, just a little bit stuck from static, but oh, no scratches. Even the ends turn out nice. Look at that. Right, that's the last one, guys. So Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, oh well, never mind. <laughs> never mind, can't, can't please everyone. <laughs> you know what I say, you can please some of the people some of the time, but you can't please all of the people all of the time. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> something like that, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> something like that, it goes. You, know, like you, can't, you, you can lead a horse to water, but a pencil must be led. All right, there we go, guys. Except if it's big. I will see you on the, that's a pen, that's not a pen. That's what a pen, yeah. That's a pen, pen. that's a pen, yeah, that's a pen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, thank you guys for joining me. And just to show you, look, I did actually do them all. And there, there they are, look at those. Mm, all the nice colours. Look at those, they're the colours I chose. Okay. They all come from Turner's Retreat. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. That one's Lisa's. There, she's not going to let them have a choice no, of that one. No, that no. one's Lisa's, and these, well, it's going around, and the girls can pick whichever pen they want. Yeah. So there's three of them around there. So there you go. Right, there we are, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Two to pick. Bye, guys. <laughs>